Hi, here's Chris. I had the opportunity to do some research and self-edutainment how to work with Blender's geometry nodes. In this video, I show you one of my results. If you like, you can use the link in the video description and download this geometry notes tree here for free to use it in your projects. So let's see what I've done. I have a Suzanne model here and the Suzanne model has a material. It's uh, this one. I show it to you here, the white material. There are some more, but um, I just added them to, to some, make some debug uh, information. So you can see this is a simple uh, shader for, for tune uh, elements. It's an emission shader with some mixes. But this is not our topic. Our topic is outlines and game engine like outlines and um, why i've done it before i continue i have to explain you what was my intention to do this in geometry notes i uh, was interested in is it possible to create or to save some steps to simulate a game engine based outline the game engine based outline technique i have uh, tried to simulate is uh, you all normally you duplicate your mesh. For example, here this is Zen. You duplicate it. You flip then the faces of the copy, and then you extrude the faces and invert it them or or add in a material that is uh, transparent and shows the inner part. And this simulation gives you an outline technique. And to do this in Blender to simulate it, you have to do a lot of steps. You have to come copy you have two instances of your model and so on and my my target was to see or my goal was to to simulate the steps in geometry nodes and i have done this and uh, before i continue uh, you need a geometry nodes modifier and as you can see i have added it to this model of so then it has just a, another modifier subdivision one to have it uh, smooth and this geometry nodes modifier is, is uh, has no tree so it's red and uh, before you use my tree you have to use file and append to append the node tree of my example scene that can be downloaded here and you can edit them so i have done this already and um, i go to this pull down menu and i find my notes here it's the cw game engine outlines i add this to this uh, suzanne and as we can see we see nothing because my routine or my game geometry notes needs a projector cam. Um, this projector camera is uh, needed for some some uh, options here in, in the modifier. And then I have a material here, an outlines uh, blue material. Actually, it's like this. And it comes with my geometry notes if you append them. So I first add a camera and I use my only camera in the scene. So I add it to the scene and now you see the outlines appear. So we have outlines and I am here in the camera view already and move my camera here in the camera to view mode and can move my camera. You can, uh, you can uh, leave this mode or exit here and go into the normal view mode. And as you can see, the outlines already work here. Um, to explain my material, why is it working? Um, the outline material is this one here, material outline blue. You can you can uh, use your own material in this slot if you like, but you should know some points. Um, first, I go to this blue outline material to show you how the material works. And um, we have a regular emission material, it's blue. And then what I'm doing is I want to look into my mesh because I am copying the Suzanne mesh and uh, then I want to look through the copy and see the inner part and what I'm here doing is I have a material that do, does nothing else than has a mix shader and I'm mixing bet between a blue material and a transparent material and to do this I use the back facing factor of the geometry node here in my shader tree you have a geometry node and normally you use position, normal tangent and so on. And I'm using back facing. And this uh, allows me to, to uh, set the back facing uh, elements 
um, transparent and uh, the, the inner parts blue. That's all. Okay. So we can use your own material to do this if you like. Good. I put it down here and uh, let's see what we can do with my geometry nodes modifier. What we can do first is here, I can use the outline strength. I can set the strength. It, uh, at the moment it's one. You can set it thicker if you want. Uh, it's depending on you what you want and you see it's more or thicker here. I do it too. Then you can add, this is new, you can add noise. So if you add noise, you see my uh, outline uh, is now changing because there is a noise on the outline and the noise factor uh, controls the thickness of this outline. So when I move it, you see it's dynamically, sometimes a bit thin, sometimes thicker. This is something you normally can't do automatically if you are using a basic function to use this uh, this uh, game-based uh, outline, okay? Then you have the ability, I set it to 10, then you have the ability to use the outline noise scale. So as you can see, the outline is, is big. And as when I increase the scaling, you get more details in the outline. I put or I set them to five. And as you can see, there are more details. Oh, and you can also see the outlines here have um, a low resolution. This resolution is based on your subdivision. When I switch it off, then the outlines are like this, more low poly. And this subdivision um, adds some more details. So when I use four, the double, then you see there are finer or better outlines if you want. And uh, when I add the scale to, or half it to two, then you see there are some interesting elements you can do with this technique. I set it to three, so it's okay. Then I add some more scaling again. So now we have two options, um, an hour, um, a noise intensity and a noise scale. With this, you can play. The um, next point is you can use a special technique to avoid some um, problems we have. When I use, for example, this noise, you can see as the noise is producing this kind of elements here, but we don't want to have them. Um, so to, to avoid this, I've added a special mode. I use it, use card faces. So what you can do now is you can use card faces and the faces uh, who um, uh, um, that we see or that are facing to the camera, um, they disappear. So when I move in the camera view, I have to switch to the camera view. And this is a reason why we are using the camera. I move my to then, and as you can see, these elements here are disappearing. I switch it off, and you see here we have some problems. And when I switch it on, I delete some faces that are facing to us and get this result. Sometimes um, it's, it's not looking very nice because you have such elements here. To avoid this, I have used a normal threshold. So as you, if you want, you can add the, some, some values here to it and you can add or correct the outline a little bit. So now you see it looks a bit better. I set it to three, for example, and outline front back to two or uh, no, two, yeah. And uh, add some noise intensity maybe. No, it's okay. So these are correcting values, okay? So we can correct it. You can change the faces in to the that are facing to the camera. I can show it to you in another view. And we go to the viewport so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, as you can see here we have, this is our regular view and this uh, options here del uh, who we see. Um, I am deleting some, some faces that are facing to the camera. And as soon as I am moving the camera, you see the faces are deleted, okay? And this allows me to create such a correction or an effect. So when I use the thresholds, and as you can see, you can delete more or less faces, as this is a trick to do this. Then I have a bonus um, uh, mode here uh, that I have in, in experimented with. It's the use curve method is slower. So what I do is I add a curve to my uh, the then, as you can see here. And with this 
curve, I can create a different line that's a little bit different to the other and I make it a bit thinner. And as you can see, it's interesting. Also interesting if you like this. It's what, it was just an experiment to simulate a line. It's a little bit like Reese pencil, but not the same, far not the same. And you can use it here. And um, then you can invert the hit direction, for example, to get uh, this kind of object there. The eyes, sometimes you have some problems with the curve mode. Um, if you go back to the curve mode and sit, hit the, uh, and choose the hit direction uh, or uh, the hit invert, it means the rays that are going here from the camera, they hit this object here on the front side and with this mode you can invert it, okay? And now it's uh, different. This is interesting mostly for or more for the camera, for the for the eyes mode, for the for the curve mode. It's it's just an experiment, as I said, just to see what happened. Good. This is um, my 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 game engine um, shader here in Geometry Nodes. I hope you like it. It was just an experiment. Maybe you you want to experiment with it or use it in your projects. I don't know. Then I have uh, maybe a last option here, the show projector. It's a debug option. Here we can see this is the projector here. And that the projector is depending of your, of your ape, of your model. And uh, I generate this plane to project rays to this object and to delete these faces here. Okay, it's a simple routine to do this. Um, if you like, you can go also into the geometry nodes tree and look here what I'm doing. I have made some, some documentation, uh, basic documentation. Maybe you know what I'm doing here. I have uh, another group here where I do other things. So maybe you are interested in the geometry notes tree to see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's all. I hope you like it. Uh, it was one of my experiments and yeah, you can use it for your project if you like. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.